Hi there, it's Patmos and nice of you to join me for the 10th episode of this Ostrif series. Let's get my people walking. And, well, while the nice round parts of the city get built, I thought it would be a nice idea to do something new I haven't done before in a YouTube series, which is get some horses. And they are very useful since horses will provide you carts, or at least they can pull a cart, or a wagon as it's called. And they can carry a lot of resources, which is very nice. So I'm thinking about getting a few horses. Now we have to build a whole horse industry. You need to get a stable, which I just built. And where you breed horses, where you make them ready to pull carts. And of course you need a wagon shed. I'm going to build one right next to a uh, horse stable. And we'll probably get another wagon shed later on. And build that somewhere on the other side of town. So that's that's where once a horse is ready and you have a wagon, they will be sh staying there. And someone can pick them up there and, and use them. So if you spread them out over town, that's better for the efficiency. And, well, the bigger you get, you might even use like three, four of those. They're really good. They're really useful. And I really want to see a stable. Now, all you need is a stable and a wagon shed. And, of course, then we need to buy a few horses that will help us breed new horses. Because, well, that's cheaper. Horses are pretty expensive. And then we can use a few horses in the wagon shed to make them into... I don't know how you call that, horse, wagon carrying horses or something. Well, we need horseshoe, so that's an important thing. So let's get going with that. And, ooh, this. Well, they have horses here, so it would be nice if we could get that horse shed up. And then those horses can come in. I don't think they'll be ready quickly, but we'll see. The slaughterhouse, the warehouse, oh, that's all fine. I don't think the whole stables will be done by then, but that's okay. Is there anything else we need? Well, we might need some leather. We have plenty, but I'll still get some since we have plenty of money anyway. Because we need to get horse tech. Now, I need to find the guy that builds those, which is the saddlery, I guess, yeah. From leather and metal parts. So we'll need leather and metal parts to create all the tools we need for our horse business. So let's do so. Well, yeah, that house is done. That's good. Let's give them some financial help so they can manage to buy everything. There we go. On to the stable. Now we need to remember Balaika. Balaklia, I have to say. Balaklia is a, is a city where we can buy horses, so that's a good thing to know. And next is just we need some horse tack. So let's get the saddlery done after that, <coughs> so they can start working on that. I think we do have plenty of time to get it done this episode, but we'll see. In the meantime, let's check our cow sheds, if we have any animals to slaughter. Yep. Yeah, one bull, that's just one, so that's good. How are we looking here? We have a one-year-old, a one-year-old, a one-year-old. Oh, wow, that's three one-year-olds. So, two can be slaughtered. That'll produce some meat for us. Well, that's a good thing. And we have one down here. We have more one-year-old bulls, so let's slaughter a few. Just keep the latest one. All right. Well, I say things look nice. I'm gonna try speed three now. When the game get when you progress in the game, you get more people, etc. It it really slows down, and we have 338 people now. So sometimes speed three then it does just doesn't work. At least not for too long, so that's why I'm putting it on speed 3 now, but I'll probably go back to speed 2 in a while, 
just to make sure oh, these people need a bit of money for us. Oh, that's fine. Because, well, it just runs better on a lower speed. Three more days. Well, let me check. Will it be done before we... No, that's not good. I'm not going to take the gamble and just buy those horses and see if they actually get there in time. Because if they get there too early, we spend a lot of money on dead horses. Because they'll die straight away. And that is not what we want. How do we look on food? Well, we have almost 6,000 buckwheat. We have chicken eggs and chicken meat. We have fish, 700. We have 6,400 flour. We have potatoes, 1,000. So we might need a few more potatoes because it's only November. And we still have 7,000 wheat. So that looks good. And we have 500 sunflower oil. So nowhere near any food shortages, but... A few extra potatoes wouldn't hurt, so that's something to do next. Alright, so it appears to be a good thing that we didn't buy the horses yet, because this, must, this will take a while. It's a really nice building, though. A lot of detailing going into it. I really like that. If you follow the Facebook page of the developer, then you can see how much work goes into some of those buildings. They made a clear run through. Also, I think it's available on Steam. So if you watch the Steam news about this game, Ostriff, then you can see how much work goes into just getting one building. And, well, it's a lot of work, but it's really nice, and I really like those details. And we have our first stable, so let's put in a few people. Set them to breed horses, a resource supply. Well, let's put everything on 500. Just to make sure we have plenty. They can have like 10 horseshoe and 4 horse stack. That's fine. Well, they're bringing in everything, so all we need now is a few horses. Yeah, food's being brought in. So perhaps we can send out a messenger to Balaika now. It's only costing us 40, so that's not too much. And once we have that, we can buy a few horses. Since we have plenty of money, that shouldn't be too hard to do. Just have to wait for the messenger to arrive there. Now the saddlery is being built, providing us with the horse tack. Do you have to remember what we need for that? Well, we can just check. We need a leather and metal parts. I do believe we have hides, but if we get the tannery, we require bark, lime, salt and water to make it into leather. And that's a long process. So, we'll see later on. Alright, <clears throat> how should we proceed? I guess I would like three females and perhaps five males or something. Because we will be using those males to get into the wagon shed and pull carts. And then we'll have two males, three females for breeding. I think that's a good, a good number. No letter for horse tech production. No, that's true, but... Well, they don't have letter here. But I know other villages have, so... We should just wait for a messenger to get in, and then we can buy some leather. Now, of course, if you want to be playing this really smart, you just go on the internet, find whatever village is selling what... And then you can just say, oh, well, let's go to this village for leather, but I, I just don't know. So, I didn't look that up. That is a thing, though, even if you're if you're struggling with money a bit. That's a thing you can do. Ah, there the horses are coming. That's very nice. There they are. Plenty of horses. <laughs> well... We need four horseshoe and one tack to prepare a horse. We have three horseshoe now, so we need one more, which should be produced in the smithy. And we need horse tack, of course, so for that we need some leather. We do have metal parts. Yeah, plenty of metal parts, so that's not an issue. Let's get the wagon shed. And then these guys can start to work again on this half-round part of the city. And we just have to get a messenger that will provide us with some leather. Well, this is going good. I'll put it on speed 2 again, just to 
make sure <clears throat> my computer can manage this. I've had a few times where the game's just shut down when you get like um, I think my village was a bit bigger when it did but just building a nice village and all of a sudden it just can't keep up at speed 3 everything that's happening and my computer just shut that shut the game down so or it crashed I don't know how you say that but yeah that's not what we want right now so let's not go too fast a visitor from Balaika came again yeah that's nice but that's not what I need. I need someone from another village. Alright, let's put in some people. Let's get a few wagons. Supply for construction. And we can do regular deliveries. Wagon fullness 50%. That's fine. They do need food and water, of course, for their... And they also need horseshoe and horse tech. Because those carts will wear out and then you'll need to repair them. So that's why that's in there. I think we should send out a messenger to, I don't know, Dekachi maybe. I don't know if they have leather there, but we're going to try. I really want to find leather. So we can start producing horse tack and get some wagons going. You can really put more resources into a wagon compared to the um, cart, the handheld cart. So it's really useful if you can get wagons. Especially in construction, if they have to walk quite far, you know, from the clay pit to the building area. You just need one or two rides with a horse wagon and they can pick up all the clay you need. And with the hand carts, they might need to walk like five, six times. So efficiency wise, it's very good if you can get those you know, wagons going. Now horses are expensive and you need a lot of food, etc. to maintain them. But I think it's fine. And in the end, you, they're really useful. You can really use them well. So if you have you developed your village a little bit, go for horses. They're really good. Well, everything looks nice in the village. So that's going well. They are building a house right now. After that, they'll build a chicken coop. Still doing good on food. Yes, we are. All right. And they're producing limestone. Ah, we got quick lime now. Let's see. Then we need a lime works produces produces lime from quick lime and water. Well, I think we can place that also right there. Because it's close to the water. So I think we need a platform then. Right, so let's switch that up a little bit, but not too far, like that. At least then we get the lime, so later on we can get to build a tannery. We can get bark from our forester, lime, well that's what we're getting already, we have water. All we need to import then is salt, but that's fine. I don't really care about importing salt. These guys don't have salt, but others do, so... And then we can start to produce our own leather, which is pretty good. And we already have a lot of hides. Or at least we should have. Yeah, we do. Let's put them in here. The nice thing is you can set those numbers yourself. So we can just tell them to get 10,000 hides in here. Now, I'm, I've read in one of the next updates, they'll limit those things. So there's a limit to how much you can store in the warehouse. Which is actually good, because right now you just need one warehouse and you can store infinite numbers of these four resources. That's not entirely accurate. Of course, I'm using it right now because we can. But it would be good if that's no longer the case. And we can just... Um, ah, the messenger arrived at Derkachi. Ooh, we can get leather there. That's very good. Let's get like 750 leather, I think. We, uh, they also have salt. They have lime. They have metal parts. Ooh, they have a lot. They have potatoes. I want some extra potatoes for my village. Let's do that. Can we sell them anything? Yes, we can sell them charcoal, which is good. No, I'm not going to sell them anything else, I guess. So yeah, this is it. Alright, that's fine. Perfect. Another village house is done. We have house available, we have jobs available, so a new family can come and live in the village, which is good. I like that. And soon enough, 
the snow will go away and our farms will start to sow again, which is nice. Alright, this looks interesting. Do we have anything to sell to him? No, I don't think so. Maybe some flour, but... Yeah, let's sell some flour. We have plenty anyway. Alright, well, let's await the leather. And then they can start to produce horse stack and we can get wagons. That's great. They are going to work on a chicken coop now. Oh, yeah, there they go. Great. We also need a well, though, because they need to walk quite far for water now. I think. Yeah, there's a well here. That, that's a long walk, so we'll see. A new family is settling in town. Oh, it's a nice family. Plenty of employees that can do some work. A lot of people looking for a job, but don't get alarmed by it. They can be hired as laborers, and as soon as our farms need to start sowing, they'll all be put to work. So that's a good thing to have them available. Let's try speed 3 for a little while. Really like my horses. I don't know if there's a limit to the number of horses you can put in here. I would think so, but I'm not sure. We can have three wagons, and they're all pulled by one horse, so we need three horses for that. And the question is, did the letter arrive already? No, it did not. All right. Well, they're starting to pick up the flower. So we got some money in from that. There's more carts coming. Let's hope the letter comes in quickly. Well, there's a lot of carts coming into the village. Let's see if one of them brings the letter. As soon as we have that, these guys can start to work. Going to take a rest. Yep, yeah, there's a letter in the city because they're going to pick it up. Perhaps you should tell them that a laborer by cart can pick it up. Otherwise they have to walk quite a few times before they can start to produce anything. They're only bringing in ten, that's what they can carry. I do think all of our workers, yeah, they're completely filled up. So that's a good thing though. That's really good. They can sew it really nicely. They'll be almost completely done by the end of the day. Yeah, this field is done, it's already growing. It's going pretty quickly as well. See more fields already growing. Oh, this is very nice. Really fast work. It's halfway March. We have a lot of fields already growing. That's what you want to see. That's what giving you a high yield. Good. So yeah, that's good. Are they producing horse tech? Yes, they are. Question is, will it go through this one or this one? Let's bring it to the stable. Yeah, we have a horse stack, so we can get this mill to be a draft horse. Then the carpenter will pick it up, build a wagon. And then you... There we go. There comes our first horse wagon. Right, let's see. It's being built here. There's the horse. There's the wagon. I was going to bring it away. Pull it in. And there we are. There we are. Very nice. Let's see if it gets the first job. There he goes. Where is he going to? Well, he's going to pick up some wood. Now you can see the numbers running up. We can carry 3,000 wood, which is a lot. It's going to bring it to this building site. And that's the benefit of a horse wagon. You can pick up so many goods. That production will really speed up. So yeah, that's really nice. Of course, after one go, they'll bring it back to the horse shed or the wagon shed. And then someone else has to pick it up again and, and walk with it. But that's fine. It's really useful to have that. So let's... Ooh, we have four more stacks already. Well, let's do two more. Let's get those wagons. 
Perhaps we can already build another wagon shed on another part of the city. Now, if you look at the city, it would be tempting, I think, to build one here. Because, well, it's, it's a long way apart. It's probably a good spot. But it's not. And, yeah, we don't need anything here. I'm going to tell you why. There's no real industry here. It's just houses and a few of these market stalls. So, why build wagons here if there's no industry here? It would be making more sense to build it somewhere here. Because here we have the farms, etc. They might be able to use the wagons. But most of the wagons will be used by our construction and we have a forestry here, we have the smithy here, we have the clay pit here. So this is the best area for uh, carts and wagons. And of course we have another forestry here and the clay pit. So we could build it here, but that's only to do if we are going to expand this direction. Which we will in the end. So right now I think I'm going to build another wagon shed somewhere here. And then use it to expand our village this way. But you really need to think about where does where do they need the wagons actually, and they'll need wagons well around the, our trading area, around building areas, and around production areas. Well, we have one here, so that's good. So yeah, the other one can go here. I think we're just going to place it right there. Another wagon shed. But really think about where do they need them, and where do they need it in such a way that you don't have to build too many that they don't have to walk too far. And right here is a good spot because they'll be needing it right here. Let me check for a second. Do we produce bark already? No, we don't. I'm going to produce bark. Because right now we're building the lime works. Once that's done, we can think about getting a tannery. And that's where we need bark. Because we also... We have bark now. We have lime. We have water. So... We need a salt. We can build our own. We can get our own leather. That's nice. Resource supply, water, and quick climb. Yeah, that's fine. I can use carts to get that. Interesting. So, I think we can also build a tannery right now and just import a bit of salt. All we need to do is import some salt. Let's keep that in mind for when we are building. Can I click him? No, I missed. Well, our chicken coop is done, which is interesting. Because I just need to find another one, and we do have more. And that's the thing you can do if you don't want to set up everything again. Just go to this one, and I'll just say, well, this is good, apply to all. This is all good numbers, apply to all. And now... They have applied it, and they will get the same amount of resources, etc. So that's good. We'll have to wait until the resources are there, and then we can switch out some chickens. They are awaiting everything, so that's fine. You guys got everything. Let's give them a bit of extra money. Well, they brought in water. They'll bring in buckwheat, and they'll bring in wheat. Do we have plenty of that? We still have wheat. We still have buckwheat. So that's good. Well, we are bringing in a lot of resources now for building the chicken coop, which is nice. Should probably tell them that they can use a laborer with a cart just to bring in everything. That'll be nice. Well, they're still awaiting stuff. I'm going to wait a little while longer before I put in a lot of chickens. But we will. Don't worry about that. Oh yeah, they're bringing in a hundred of everything, so that's good. No one's looking for a job, so everyone's pretty busy. Interesting. We had a lot of people not working. Now a lot of people are working. Where are they working? I don't see a lot of places where they are hiring laborers at the moment. So, oh yeah, they're all free now. All right. They were doing something then. Well, I think they do have plenty of food now, so we can send over some chickens. I'm going to do ten chickens, ten half hatchlings. Halflings. 
It's not like Lord of the Rings. Alright, chickens and hatchlings. Should go there. Same from this one. Ten each. They'll be able to reproduce quickly, so that's not an issue. They're relocating. Perfect. Now, let's do apply to all again. Apply to all again. And now these guys can also start to get some stuff. We're almost out of our building queue, so we need to add another layer of buildings, perhaps. Oh well, we're also getting close to the time that I use to make my YouTube videos. Somewhere between 25 and 30 minutes. So I'll save that for the next round we do. So I'm not going to put up another ring of houses. We'll do that next time. We do have a completely filled wagon shed, which I really like. And we are producing horse tech in a good way, so that's good. We have plenty of stuff. People are happy, have plenty of stuff to eat and drink and have a nice life, so that's good. We are producing our own lime, which is good. I really like that. So I think everything runs good. We need to worry about another farm, because we need some extra potatoes. And maybe... Some, I don't know, anip or extra sunflowers, something like that. So that's the thing we'll worry about next time. All that rests me now is to thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I know I did. If you enjoyed, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.